All right, Steve Hillwick uh, joining us from the uh, Hustle Belt. It's the Mac platform on SB Nation, uh, breaking down the Mac Bowl games, and we make our way to the only post-Christmas day game involving uh, the Mid-American Conference with Northern Illinois taking on a Power 5 team. So this is the only Power 5 matchup we have in Northern Illinois, 8-4, and 6-2 and two in the conference. Uh, Steve, i got to tell you, it seems like everybody we've talked about is 8-4 and four in the conference or 6-2 uh, and two, uh, as well in the conference at 8-4 overall. But uh, Duke comes in at 6-6 six and six out of the ACC, 3-5. and five. Daniel Jones at quarterback. Uh, your thoughts about uh, the uh, chances of Northern Illinois pulling off what could be a, a, a slight upset? Well, Northern Illinois already got there upset this year over Nebraska. I know it's considered an upset because Nebraska finished 4-8. And eight. And the thing about the Huskies is they didn't even perform well offensively in that game. So they might have actually been the better team all along. Their defense is one of the best in the nation, and that is why the Huskies are going to keep this one a low-scoring game. Sutton Smith, I think it would be a crime if he's left off the All-American teams. He's leading the nation in tackles for loss. I believe he has 28.5 and 14 sacks, also good for number one in the nation. He's, he's not the biggest defensive end, but he has great moves, great spin moves, can get through all offensive lines, get to the quarterback. He has been dominant all year. He, has, he scored uh, two. I remember he had a touchdown on one of the midweek MAC games this year, and he has been a force all season long leading this defense. There's also some other impressive names in the unit, like Bobby Jones from linebacker or Shawan Lurry from cornerback, who is a former first-team All-American uh, when he led the – FBS and interceptions in 2015. So this NIU team has a lot of a lot of great players on their defense. Their offense is led by Marcus Childers, freshman quarterback. He won the MAC Newcomer of the Year award, uh, although he didn't even start half the season. He played pretty mistake free in the second half of the season. Uh, he's a decent runner. Uh, most Northern Illinois quarterbacks are running quarterbacks. They're trying to replicate Jordan Lynch there, although they haven't really been successful in doing that yet. They found some decent guys, and I think Childers is a decent guy that gives the team a chance to win. They've experimented with a slew of different running backs this year, and they they don't usually throw the ball very much. Uh, when they do, been about uh, iffy at that game. But I, I like the matchup against Duke. It's a very... It, it was not a matchup I was expecting uh, looking at Mac Bowl, potential Mac Bowl games all season long. And Duke is a very interesting team because this is a team that started 4-0. They look to be a contender in the weak ACC Coastal. Then they drop six straight. And, and at that point, they just look like they're going to replicate their 4-8 and season from a year ago. But then they upset Georgia Tech and Wake Forest, looked very strong in their last two games going to a bowl game. I think David Cutcliffe is one of the best coaches in the conference. He took a Duke team that was nothing before he got there. He's led them to two ACC championship games. Bowl season, uh, Duke makes it almost every single year now, and I think that's impressive in itself. Duke usually just viewed as a basketball school. But the Blue Devils have a lot of good offensive threats. Their wide receiver, TJ Ramming, is definitely a name I'd watch for. The ramming Lurry matchup is something that will be appealing there. But I think the Blue Devils will win this game just because of how strong the offense looked against Georgia Tech and Wake Forest. And given that NIU does not look good in bowl games, uh, you're going to have to go a while back, I believe 2011, to see the Huskies' last bowl win. They've lost four straight under Rod Carey, including that 2012 Orange Bowl to Florida State. They couldn't even win a, the game with Jordan Lynch in 2013 against Utah State. And last year, they snapped their bowl streak, eight-year uh, eight bowl streak, going five and seven. But the Huskies' defense is very, very good. If this game goes above the 20s, Northern Illinois is going to have a lot of struggle in pulling out the victory. So I think Duke... Duke's offense is going to win this game because NIU won't be able to compete with them in that regard. Daniel Jones showing much promise at quarterback for Duke in 2016. I expected uh, a bit more from him this season. 12 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, ran for about 400 yards and six touchdowns as well. As you mentioned, David Cutcliffe doing more with less. Uh, he has brought in a couple top 25 to 30 recruiting classes the last couple of years, so he may be uti utilizing more talent in the next few years than he has in the past. 
Uh, Duke, uh, as you mentioned, uh, finishing strong after the six straight losses there in the middle of the season and going way back to September, a mighty impressive showing at home against uh, a top 25 Northwestern team as well, routing the Wildcats 